crushing chest pain, sweating, and a sense of doom. It's a heart attack. You may have seen similar scenes in movies, but in real life, a heart attack can present in different ways and may not easily be recognized. Every three seconds, someone in the world suffers a heart attack. It happens when one of the blood vessels in the heart gets blocked and the heart muscle starts to die. Time is critical to save the heart. Heart attack and cardiovascular diseases are the leading causes of death in the world. So it's important for us to know what causes a heart attack, what are its symptoms, and what to do if someone is having it. Let's ask Dr. Smart about it. Hi, welcome to Smart Clinic. Today, let's talk about heart attack. Dr. A, why is a heart attack so dangerous? And what causes it? Our heart is a pump that keeps the blood circulating in our body all the time. All parts of our body depend on the heart for their supply of blood that carries oxygen and energy. The walls of the heart are made of strong muscle. It relaxes to fill up with blood and then squeezes to pump it out with force. When we are resting, our heart beats at 60 to 90 times a minute. It beats faster and harder when our body needs more oxygen or energy, like during exercise, if we are having a fever, or under stress. Our heart needs constant energy to do all this work, which comes from the special blood vessels of the heart. If there is any blockage in any of these vessels, that part of the heart muscle starts to die. It cannot survive without oxygen for long. This is a heart attack. The most common reason for blockage of heart arteries is due to atherosclerosis. The walls of the blood vessels become thick and narrow and get clogged with fat and cholesterol. The most common reasons for developing atherosclerosis are smoking, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or having a family history of having such problems. This narrowing of the arteries may not cause any symptoms and remain silent in some people. And in others, it can cause chest pain on activities known as angina. People feel chest pressure or feel short of breath whenever they are exerting. At times, these collections of fat and cholesterol in the heart vessels can break up and a clot is formed. This can suddenly block the artery completely and cause a heart attack. Time is critical. Every passing minute leads to more damage of the heart. The person needs treatment as soon as possible. Dr. A, what are the symptoms of heart attacks and what should we do if someone is having it? A heart attack can present in different ways. Most commonly, it causes severe chest pain, a feeling of pressure or weight on the chest. The pain can also be in left arm, upper back, neck, or upper abdomen. The person may feel difficulty in breathing, have sweating, or feel dizzy. It is important to know that at times, symptoms of heart attack can be subtle, and person may not have any chest pain. The symptoms can be confused for something else. The person may feel intense fatigue, have nausea or vomiting, or severe distress. Such symptoms are more common in women and in people with diabetes. It is important to get medical help and start treatment as soon as possible. Call 911 or emergency services right away and let them know that you suspect a heart attack. Get the person to the nearest hospital where heart attacks can be treated. Quick action can save someone's life. Occasionally, if one of the major blood vessels is blocked and a big portion of the heart is affected, it may lead to sudden cardiac arrest. Dr. A, how is a heart attack treated? When someone is having a heart attack, our goal is to restore the blood circulation to the part of the heart that is damaged from the blockage as soon as possible. This is why identifying symptoms of heart attack and getting the right medical care is extremely important. The person is given medicine called aspirin, which slows down the process of clot formation. Another medicine is nitroglycerin that relaxes the blood vessels to allow for blood circulation. These medicines help reduce the amount of heart damage. They can be given at home while waiting for the emergency medical services 
or while the patient is on way to the hospital. In the hospital, doctors will quickly do some tests and diagnose a heart attack. These include getting an ECG, chest x-ray, and blood tests. Based on the findings, they will decide the next steps of treatment. Treatment options will be different from one case to another. If there is complete blockage, then person needs an emergency angiogram. This procedure helps to find area of blockage in the heart vessels and the blockage can be opened with a stent. Treatment also includes giving blood thinners to dissolve the clot and stop new clots from forming. With timely treatment, serious damage and complications can be avoided. Dr. A, how can we prevent coronary artery disease and heart attacks? The risk of having a heart attack increases with conditions like being overweight, having diabetes, having high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, and having a less active lifestyle. It's never too late to start working on diet and lifestyle changes to reduce your risk. Cut down on the amount of unhealthy fats and carbohydrates in your diet. Replace them with healthy food options. Exercise for 30 minutes 3 to 5 days in a week. If you are overweight, work on reducing your weight. For people 40 years of age or older, routine testing for diabetes, cholesterol, and high blood pressure is needed. Early testing is needed in people with obesity or who have family history of such problems. Discuss with your doctor what tests are needed for you. If you have any of these diseases, then take appropriate treatments to have good control of blood pressure, sugar, and cholesterol. If you smoke, there are effective ways to help you stop smoking. Remember, it's never too late to quit. Watch our videos on these health topics to learn more about them. If you have risk factors for heart disease or you have had a stroke or a heart attack in the past, then discuss with your doctor if you should be taking aspirin tablet to reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes in the future. Share this video with others and help spread awareness about heart attacks. The right knowledge can help save someone's life. Did you know our heart is the size of our fist? It is always working. In one minute, our heart pumps 60 to 100 times. This is more than 100,000 times per day. The heart beats faster in smaller animals. In mice, it beats 600 times in a minute. That's 10 beats every second. Blue whales are the largest animal, and they have the biggest heart of all. It beats only 4 to 8 times in a minute when the whale is deep down in the ocean. How amazing is that? Let's be grateful for a beating heart.